Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Florida State Seminoles and the Buffaloes of Colorado. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Buffaloes. The Buffaloes are pretty heavy underdogs in this game. What do you think is going to happen out here today, Kirk? Florida State has one of the best defensive tackles in college football. His motor never stops running. And, Coach, I don't think they can block him, and they'll win big today. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm going with my alma mater. Yo! Florida State. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick. And this one's away. Number 29 takes it from the six. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, folks, lining up at halfback is a very, very special player. You bet, Brad. This kid has a great combination of speed and power. He'll be the focal point of this offense. If the defense can't contain him, they'll be in for a long day. Yeah, this kid is talented, but you know what, Kirk? I talked to the middle linebacker yesterday at the hotel, and he said this back wasn't going to get 50 yards against them. Wow, those are big words, Coach. We'll have to watch to see what happens. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Single set backfield. Drops back to pass. Throws short. The defense looked alive on that play. Yeah, Coach, he did a great job of reading the play and beating the receiver to the ball. That'll make it third down. Third From their own 22-yard line. Third down. Colorado lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Stepping up. Here they come. And they got him. Wow. He just went boom right down. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good. Especially when it's your quarterback who goes boom. The Buffaloes are lining up to punt it away. Number 85 is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it off. Number 85 fields it at the 48. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. High formation here. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. It's second and nine. Ball on the 42. Number 11 with three wide receivers. It's the tailback. He jukes him. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. It looks like they picked up a yard or a little less. It's third and eight. Ball on the 41-yard line. Florida State lines up in a shotgun set. Broke away from one. He goes downtown. Incomplete pass. So it'll be fourth down now, and they're nowhere near that first down mark. Fourth 
Florida State ready to pump this one away. Number 25 is back deep to return. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Signals for a fair catch. Not a whole lot of success there last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 12-yard line. First and 10. The Buffaloes line up with a single set backfield. Feeds it to the back. Breaks one. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. Number two comes away with two yards on the carry. Second down. The Buffs are lining up with three receivers. They go with the option. And now he pitches it. At the 40, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and he will score. Untouched. That was a huge run. You talk about some good blocking. Yo, all the running back had to do was turn on the jet. There wasn't a defender that was even able to get a hand on that him. That is a big momentum booster, Coach, for this offense. What a great, great run. And yeah, this is the Pontiac game-changing performance from the game. They'll line it up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, Colorado, seven. Florida State, nothing. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. Number 33 and number 38 set to return. Decent kick. Number 38 takes from the 10. He breaks it. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start at the 31-yard line. Number six is the single setback. Little handoff. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, Coach. The halfback had nowhere to go from the get-go. From their own 31-yard line, second and ten. The Seminole line up with three receivers bunched. They go with a toss. He tackles him for a loss. Number 25 probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. Third Here's third and 11. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. He's hit and got away. He lets it go. And they couldn't hook up on that one. I think the pressure forced that miscue, guys. Yeah, good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. The Seminoles are lining up to punt it away. Number 43 awaits the snap. He punts it. Number 83, taking it to 33. And there's a fumble. 
Defense says they've got it, and they do. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. Number two, the lone back. Here's a pitch, left side. He tackles him for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. They line up at the 38. Second and 13. They come out with three wide receivers. They go with the option. Tries to juke. And down he goes at the 47. Third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. They'll knock him down for a loss. An incredible series for the defense, and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. They come out in a punt formation. Number 14 is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Number 85 fields it at the 13. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. They'll set up shot at the 19. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Makes a move. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Number six gets eight yards on the play. We've got a second and two. The Knowles are lining up with three receivers. Tackle at the 31. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. We've played a quarter, and our score, Colorado, seven, Florida State, nothing. We've got a first and ten. Florida State comes to the line with three wide. First down, look at the throw. Number 11 zips it right, and they make the stop at the 37-yard line. They'll get six yards. It's second down. The Knolls come out in a shotgun. On play action. Throws it. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 33. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week, guys. Yeah, and we get a chance to see it again here. Wow, what a throw. It's first down. The Seminole line up with two tight ends. Pitch left. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. And the offensive line did a good job of picking up the blitz. Yep, the defense over-pursued the play, and it helped them get some good yards. From the 24-yard line. It's second and one. The defense lines up with six DBs. They give to the tailback. And he tackles him hard. 
at the 15-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals a very successful offense. And they've looked really good on this drive, Coach. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Single set backfield. He looks to the end zone. Got his man on the run. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job of the fake handoff, too. It's first and goal. They're inside the 20. Let's see if they can punch this one in. He juked. Brought down at the one-yard line. Nothing going on that one. No It's second and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Trying to find that end zone here as they come out in the I formation. Here's a counter play, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. That's what time and practice will bring you, Kirk. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. The Seminole line up with three wide. Here's the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He probably should have pitched the ball there. I don't think so, Kirk. If he pitched the ball, then they might have lost even more yards. It's fourth down. This will be a 26-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. This one off. Florida State is lined up with the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 27 fields it at the 7. At the 30. At the 40. Across midfield. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. He returns it all the way to score. Guys, what do you think about that one? I'll tell you what. This kid is a real playmaker. You know what, Lee? Sheer determination to display it right there. He set his sights on the end zone and would not be denied. They're setting up for the PAT. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Colorado 14, Florida State 3. Colorado gets set to kick this one away. He sends it off. Number 33 fields it at the 7. At the 30. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. What a great return. Did you see him turn the Jets on there? There aren't too many guys in college football that can catch him in the open field, and you saw an example of that on this play. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Colorado 14, Florida State 10.
number 27. Already has one kick return that went for a touchdown. Let's see if they kick it to him again. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 29 takes it to 15. So the offense takes over. And the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. First and 10. Ball in the 25. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. Drops back on first down. He takes off. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Colorado just took their first time out. They line up at the 28. It's second down and seven to go. The Seminole come out in the 34 defense. He's taken off. What a collision. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. On the offense. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. Second and long, ball on their own 18. The Buffs go with the I formation. Little handoff. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. Florida State calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Third down. Make the move. Got an opening. Brought down at the 30. Florida State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 14 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Number 85, fields it at the 27. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. The offense will start at the 31. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. He lobs it right, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Didn't get anything. No gain on the play. They line up at the 31. Second down. The Knowles come out the shotgun. Look at the throw. He throws it, and it falls incomplete. Number 89 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. It's third and 10. Ball on their own 31. The Seminole line up with three wide. He drops back, steps up, throwing right. And that one's fallen incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 43 is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Number 83 fields it for 37. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They come out with three wide receivers. He passes it, and he pulls it down. Colorado will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down. Yeah. 
Colorado comes out with two tight ends. He drops back. He's looking for his man, and this one falls incomplete. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. One, two, three. Looking to throw. Over the middle. His receiver has it. He's taken down at the 36. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. He's just lucky that he got that pass away. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Colorado comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled at the 23. And it's plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. And that's why he's so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just takes off with all that speed. Colorado. We'll call a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. This defense is in the dime. It's up, and it's good. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It was a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick. Number 33 is deep to receive, and look out, folks. He's looking to run another one back for six. He kicks it. Number 38 takes it at the 8. <laughs> Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Colorado 17, Florida State 10. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Here's the kick. Number 38 fields it at the 11. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. First down, 10 to go. The Knoll go with the I formation. Up the middle. Tackle at the 31-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 31. Florida State goes with the ace set. Here. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. Third, they line up at the 31. Third down. Florida State lines up with three receivers. He drops back over the middle. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Hand off up the middle. 
And down he goes at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of eight. It's second down. Florida State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Here's the halfback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. Number six is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. Number 11 fires down the middle. And he's tackled in the open field. So they find their wide out for a big gain and a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. Going with the shotgun here. Hand it off again. That took a little too long to develop. The offense is trying to get the pass rush going off field, but the defense did a nice job of sticking out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. Second it's second and ten. Ball on the Three wideouts here. Tackled at the 36. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The Seminole line up in an I formation. Third and short, and they hand it off. Lost the ball. Come on. And the defense is on it. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. I agree. Huge play. Play action. Wants to throw outside. That's incomplete. Number 84 was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Buffalo come out showing three wide. Throws it out there, and he's tackled right away. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. One man backfield. Here's a pitch left side. And he's taken down at the 44. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They line up at the 44. It's second down. Two tight ends here. And they make the stop at the 43. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. They line up at the 43. Third and nine. Colorado comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Feeling the pressure. It's deflected. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. 
Number three is back deep to return the punt. Plenty of hang time on this one. Calls for the fair catch. And he muffed it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Colorado looking to go up two touchdowns. They line up in an eye. Pitch out. And they'll get him in the backfield. Five-yard loss on the play. Five-yard loss on the play. Second down and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. Number 10 with three wide receivers. End zone! Number 83 was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. They'll work from the shotgun. Look at the throw. He steps up. Look. They bring the quarterback down. The defensive end will get credit for the sack. So it's fourth down. This one is from 34 yards away. Colorado is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Number 33 is back ready to receive, and boy, has he been the game breaker on special teams today. He sends it off. Number 38 takes it at the eight. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll get the ball here at the 27-yard line. Florida State lines up with three receivers. First down, look at the throw. Number 11, zips it left. They'll bring him down at the 29. They pick up two on the pass play. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Colorado 20, Florida State 10. From their own 29-yard line. It's second down. Number 11 lines up with four wideouts. He's looking to pass. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. It's complete. And down he goes at the 33. About four yards on that play. Third down. Florida State comes out with two tight ends. Looks to pass. Slips it short. Catches it. Oh, man. He took him down hard. Coach, that's a first down. A good-looking first down, too. They might want to run that one again in a couple plays. He had some options out there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 11 with three wide receivers. He'll give it off here. Number six. Recovered by the defense. And a nice recovery there. I'll tell you guys something. Coaches love players that force fumbles and recover the football. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. 
Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. They run a counter. A little juke. Missed tackle. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. This kid has really looked good on the ground today. Wouldn't you say that, Kirk? Yeah, I think that last run put him over 100 yards for the day. But forget about the numbers. He's looked very impressive ducking and slashing through the tacklers today. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll throw on first down. He delivers. It's going to go down as a drop, my friend. A very frustrating drop. I like the play call. I like the pass even more, but it really doesn't matter if the receiver can't bring it in. From the 28-yard line, second down, 10 yards to go. And he's taken down at the 27. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 27-yard line. Colorado lines up with three receivers. He's looking to pass. He throws it. And that one's fallen incomplete. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmaker. It's fourth down. This one is from about 44 yards away. It's up. And it is good. He had no problem splitting the uprights with that one, Kirk. Yeah, that one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. Number 33 already has one kick return that went for a touchdown. Let's see if they kick it to him again. He kicks it off. Number 33 takes it at the eight, sheds a tackler. We might see two hands on the ball after their last drive. Yeah, but if you start thinking too much about fumbling, you become less effective as a runner. They just need to go out there and play their game. They'll start this drive at the 37. Number 11 with three wide receivers. First down, look at the throw. Slings it, complete. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. The Knolls are lining up with three receivers. He sails it long, and he got it, and he's tackled at the eight. Don't go away yet. This game is not over. Coach, this is just an incredible passing catch for the huge game. These guys will not go away lightly. It is late in the game, but they have more than ample time to get two scores back on the board. They're in the red zone. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. The wide receiver just let it slip off his fingertips. Yeah, and for any of you kids watching at home, here's a perfect example of not looking the ball in. And the result, as you can see, is points off the board. They're at the eight. That brings up second and goal. Number six, lines up in a deep back, high formation. And he is drilled at the five-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Right. 
This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Florida State lines up in a shotgun set. They'll go with a run once again. And they make the stop at the four. Number six gains about a yard on the play. This is a big play right here. It's fourth and goal from the four-yard line. Number six is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Fires! And this one falls incomplete. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. They'll set up shot at the four-yard line. First and ten. The Buffs come out showing three wide. Here's the give. Spin move. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Florida State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They'll line up just in front of their own end zone. Colorado comes out with an eye formation. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 12-yard line. The Seminoles are going to take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. From their own 12-yard line, it's third down. The Buffs come to the line with their jumbo package. Pitch out. And he's taken down at the 15. And that'll be good enough to move the sticks. Great run. And now we've got a new set of downs. There's a flag down, and here's the call. After this is to the goal, first down. First and long, ball on the eight. Colorado lines up in a goal line set. He'll get the goal again. And they make the stop at the 11 yard line. Number two gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. Florida State will take their final timeout. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Six DBs in the lineup. Tackle made at the 22. What sprung this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. He jukes. He's tackled at the 24. He'll be stopped just short of a first down. Oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. The Buffaloes are lining up to punt it away. Number 85 will be the return man. Number 14 punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Number 85 fields it to 31. And this ball game's over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Colorado came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2008.
And our final score in this one, Colorado 23, Florida State 10. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet saying thanks and so long.